Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my CSGO tutorials. Today we're going to check your sensitivity in game. So we're going to check out your eDPI, your DPI and your sensitivity in game. DPI is how fast your mouse update is positioned. Sensitivity is the multiplier of your DPI. eDPI is your DPI and sensitivity in game together. With that number, you can always change your DPI and your sensitivity. So you always get the same sensitivity. So if you get a new mouse, it have a higher DPI, you want to play with higher DPI, which eDPI you can then get your get your new sensitivity and it will feel kind of the same for you and not screw up your muscle memory as much. Because changing sensitivity all the time is not a good idea to build up a muscle memory. I like to have the same sensitivity in all my games. My DPI is 3200. It's kind of high DPI. And my sensitivity is 0 0.65. It's kind of low. But with my high DPI, it gets very, it's a very high sensitivity. A lot of pro players do 400 DPI or 800 DPI. And then the census is depending on what is comfortable for them. I'm going to have a link in the description to a workshop map that's called Aimbot. It's a good map to practice your aim. But this time we're going to use it to get your, your sensitivity that you need. After you have subscribed to the workshop map, let's go to play. And then you go to workshop map. And here you have aimbot. What you want to do right now is just look up, shoot at the square in the middle. And you can go out. And go to bot, any, any bot, doesn't matter. What you want to do is take out a weapon and follow the head. Can you follow the head pretty good? Then you have a good sensitivity, I guess. If not, if you overshoot, like over here, or you, you, you're shaky, you cannot follow, then you might have too high sensitivity. Then you might need to change it. Then you can just go to settings and lower the mouse sensitivity here. So I would recommend start with maybe a one, a two or three is sensitivity and see if it works for you. If you can follow the head, then you have a pretty good sense. You don't need to be perfect. If you cannot keep up with the bot, then you maybe need to higher the sensitivity instead. And if you're a lot of shaky, you need to lower it. So you find something that you're not too shaky and you can follow the head pretty good. Keep doing that and change the sensitivity. As I said, start with the one, the two or the three. And then you can again, uh, we say we, you took one and it's too fast for you. Go 0 0.5 and see if that works for you. Yeah, or you're still shaky. Damn. And maybe you need to 0 0.2 maybe. Who knows? Or if you cannot keep up. Eh, maybe you should even need to have 1.5. And find something that fits you. How you can find your DPI on your mouse is depending on what mouse you have. So when you have found that, you have found your sensitivity and your DPI on your mouse. Here we have the websites that you can find out your eDPI. So what you need to do is type in your DPI. I have 3200, 0.65. And I use raw input. It doesn't really matter in this case. My eDPI is 2080. If I want to change my DPI, you go to sensitivity. I want to use 800 like the pros. And then I type in my eDPI, 280. So if I change my mouse DPI to 800. I need to change my sensitivity in game to 2.6. And then I'm gonna get the same movement but lower DPI. Why do we want lower DPI or higher DPI? It's up to you. If you that you move your hand too much and it affects your aim, maybe you need to lower down the DPI because the higher DPI is the more the mouse is gonna pick up your movements you do. The lower DPI you have, the less it's going to update the movement of your mouse. There is con and pros. It's not really that big of a deal. No, I have my zoom sensitivity multiplier by this number. Take up the console. I'm going to have this command in the description below. Why just this number? Because one is actually not accurate. You think one would be far to, the, to your sensitivity. It's not so. Because when you zoom in, it will actually change the sensitivity. This is a more correct way to get the same sense, no matter what the zoom you use. And that's why I have this. 
I will have a link in the description where you can read all about this. I hope this video will help you get sensitivity that fits you the best. As always, if you have any question or if you like or dislike this video, type a comment in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Stay awesome and have a good one.